Hi, friend. Guess where we had it? Home Depot. <laughs> so our deck turned out lovely. I didn't actually record myself putting the deck together. Well, I did. I did recorded it for real, but I didn't record it for y'all. So maybe I just insert the footage. Either way, I like how it turned out. It's so cozy. And I've been searching high and low this morning for cushion covers for the front one. There's still a whole thing. Please hold. Okay, so that was my husband calling. So we got some somebody to come out yesterday. Why do I feel like my car moving? We got somebody to come out yesterday to give us a quote on um, like putting the cement below the deck. And he was calling to say that there's somebody else who was going to come out tomorrow and give us a quote. And then there was somebody else he talked to today about it. I don't know when they're coming. But they pretty much gave him like a rough estimate, which is like a little bit above what our budget we set our budget for but obviously we have like what we would be willing to pay and then when we get the quotes that kind of gives us a reality check of around about how much it's supposed to cost anyway so there's that and then i also ordered some light fixtures off of wayfair yesterday to go on the front porch they were on sale they were like 57 dollars each so it wasn't too bad i didn't order the light bulbs because my husband likes to use the um the light bulbs that you can put on a timer where you can control them smart lights whatever it is so hopefully those look right when they come in they're like little lanterns but they kind of look like sleek and a little bit more modern i just hope they're big enough i don't want them to be like anyways so then i, I think i was telling y'all i was searching this morning um for some cushions i thought i had found some on target but targets they're not big enough so i think i might just end up buying this one off of Wayfair, I think it's like a hundred dollars, which don't sit well with me. Anyway, this is going home depot. Okay, so I want something that's just like full of color and life to go in both of them. So trying to find um the color scheme is really like black and white on there. Um I don't know. I feel like I should just get like a huge plant that can fill up the entire thing instead of doing like individuals and stuff. So we'll see. These Lynette bugs send them me, baby. Kinda like these. So going for more like shrub looking plants as opposed to actual flowers. I think this will be pretty in one planter. And then maybe doing like an orange sun patient in front of it. I think that'll be pretty. And I have orange I kind of like those too, so let me go look at those. But I'm doing part sun because I can always move them where I need them to go. Or maybe I should do full sun and I can move them into the shade when I need to. I don't know y'all. Let me get the stuff that I need and then I'll see y'all whenever I get back to the house. I have no clue where my tripod thing is. Hold on, come on be a sit y'all look real quick. Oh my gosh, I just have to use this one. This one's stupid though. Anyways, forgive me kids if you heard me use that word. I'm still trying to figure out how to walk. <laughs> I look like a little boy today. It's all good. <laughs> Anyways, so a lot of y'all been telling me to get some um moth balls for the lizards. So I found these. Watch y'all tell me these don't work after I already try to use them. These are lavender scented and they're in packets. So I'm just about to sit these on my front porch in areas where Bean can't find them. But I feel like I always find everything. Can I change my settings again? What do I see? This still smells like somebody from my house. So do you take them out the packet? I'm just gonna sit the packets out there. I'm not taking these out. Bean will think this is candy. This is dangerous. Anyways, so I got these. Also got some melatonin from Maddie because she hasn't been able to sleep here lately. And I'm assuming this is the plant food that I need to fertilize. Will y'all be talking about fertilize? This what y'all mean? Hope this right too, because I'm gonna use the And I also got this, which, oh my God, these things stink. Because I messed up one of my pots. I have to try to recover. All right. Anyways, let me show y'all the flowers I ended up going with. It's not the flowers that I showed y'all before. Ooh, Jesus, these things. Hold on. I've been looking for these. I'm not 
go underneath here. All right, y'all, let me show y'all my own flowers. I also got this. I've never seen them make the Windex with the vinaigrette. Hopefully it don't destroy my glass. So literally immediately after, oh shoot, 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 I have to put in. Okay, let me go in the house. So these are the flowers that I ended up going with. I think these are called, I can't remember y'all, but they're pretty. So I'm gonna put them in the two planters that I showed y'all before. This is what she looks like. I think it turned out so nice and cozy. Y'all didn't get these poofs. Y'all need to go get them because it adds an extra little pizzazz. These are the um what do you call it? The pillows from West Elm that were in my living room. They're outdoor pillows. I just decided to use them indoor. So we decided to go with this setup. We obviously need to clean our patio furniture, but hopefully it doesn't come off in the real. But these are the flowers. Let me make sure I go. Actually, I recorded what kind of flowers they were. I don't know, girl. I'll tell y'all. But anyways, I got some paper and stuff in there because I have enough potting soil. I got a at Home Depot, but that'll probably be tomorrow. I think these look perfect in my little $30, $25 planners. And I just have my orange pillows right there. That's probably not staying. I might end up getting a black one or taking the black ones from out of here. I haven't decided yet because I have four of those. But anyways, this is it. I'll link what I can. Here's the lights. Good morning, friends. Happy Wednesday. I'm going out on a lovely deck to put more. Oh, it always does this whole. You come out here. No. Always does this whole vampire change. Good morning, y'all. Oh man, it's wet. This rain is so disrespectful. June is giving very much April, and I don't like that. Anyways, my flowers are gorgeous out here on this deck. We're planning on actually adding some flowers to that to go around like the bottom to fill that in. She look a little dry, but I'm trying to only water her once a week. Let me just stop calling her hard. I'm trying to water she, but just once a week. What are their names? Let's see. Petra. Petra and Patra. Petra. Petra and... Petra and Zen. That's it. Sheba, Petra, Zen, Callie, Bogey. And trite are on the front. Do not play with me. Trite need to come back here. I'm gonna put trite over here on this little thing right here to bring some florals. One of y'all mentioned a little bistro set right here. I haven't decided because this egg chair right here is kind of big, so I want it to be like the whole deck is super covered. So, anyways, let's put some some uh potting mix in here. Sit y'all right here on this little poof. 
Y'all sit tight now. Don't go nowhere. But girl, these little pots took basically a whole bag of pot of mix. I was not prepared. So for the purpose of my reel, I just did, um, this one's kind of like sitting on top. I gotta use bathroom. But she's thinking. So hopefully there's no creatures in here. I'm about to lift you up. So I stuck this in there. It was higher at first because obviously it was not wet. I should have got something so I didn't have to fill the whole thing up, but hindsight. Hindsight. Try not to spill this on my rug. So they're completely potted. Oh, I think they look so cute. These planters, if you don't go to your local Target, I don't know if the sale is still going on because the last time I went, there were certain things still on sale. Like I think I seen like the umbrellas on sale, but just go to your local Target because I'm pretty sure all of them had these on sale. They're out of stock online. The rug is out of stock online. The poofs were out of stock the last time I tried to link them. Um, but just check a local Target and make sure you have the Target app, the Target Circle app, because these were not on sale in Target, but I checked online and they were on sale for $52. So I saved like, what, $18 per chair? I mean, per poof? Yeah. That beetle can't hear you. Let me get this cord up too. Yeah, just please just don't touch it. She has zero fear of bugs and just sitting up grabbing them and stuff. Don't, ah, stop. Not the face. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I just sat here put this gum in my mouth. No one else gonna come stop. Yeah. Put some packages. I don't even know what I was saying. My kids are going out. We've got my dossier. Dossier. How do y'all pronounce it? Anyways, if you haven't heard of dossier, they provide luxury inspired fragrances at an affordable price. $39, $29. If y'all been around, y'all already know about Dossier. If you haven't been around, you may have still heard about Dossier through other people seeing them on TikTok, Instagram, whatever. I have so many fragrances from them. They smell exactly like they're supposed to smell. My favorite one so far is Aquatic Coconut. That is inspired by Replica Beach Walk. They smell the same, but it's just something about like, I don't know if it's the potency or what. It just gives. I have gotten so many compliments off of that fragrance alone. It is very much a summertime fragrance. It's just, mm. So I got three new ones today. The first one is Floral Rhubarb. This one is inspired, this one is inspired by Marc Jacobs Perfect Eau de Parfum. Excited, let's see what it smells like. Mm. It's giving summertime sexy. Mm. Lord have mercy Jesus. Does this have, um, is that peach? Milky Accord. Oh my God, this smells so good. Heavenly Father. This smells heavenly. Kid you not. Orange Blossom. The other one is Aromatic Ginger. This one is, I can't say it. This one is inspired by Louis Vuitton. I cannot pronounce this. Do y'all see that? This is what it's inspired by. So I actually went into the Louis Vuitton store a couple of weeks ago and was smelling some of their fragrances. This is one in particular that I hear a lot of people talking about that I can't remember which one it was. Um, by that time, my head hurt. Let's see, let me. This is unisex. This is giving like a masculine scent, but it's giving date night. It smells good. Is it powder in here? This is a good, like, gift perfume. And then my last one. The last one I got is Aromatic Pineapple. 
Um, this one is inspired by YSL Y. Yeah, this smells. Mmm. Y'all hit the jackpot this time. There's normally one scent included. Not normally, but the last couple of times I've gotten them, there's always one scent where I'm like, it smells good, but it's like, oh my Jesus. This smells so good. It's like, it's like masculine meets fruity. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're the type of person who doesn't like those sweet smells because it just gives like candy or like a, a toddler who's been playing in candy and dirt all day, y'all get what I'm saying? Like, you just smell too sweet and it's annoying. This is like the happy medium. This smells good. Okay. I like it. Every single one I like, I got. So I'll link these down below, fragrances that I got. But if you use my discount code, you're able to save a percentage off. Some people have said that they're not able to use my code more than once. So it does seem like it's a one-time use. But either way, if you go out to Dossier's website, you'll notice that the more fragrances you buy, the more that you're actually able to save. And not only that, the fragrances are affordable with or without the code. So that's the really good thing about it. If you just like fragrances in general, give Dossier a try. Like you will not be disappointed with their fragrances. I have, y'all have seen, I have an entire collection of Dossier fragrances. They smell amazing. And the three that I got today, baby, I cannot wait to put them on. So like I said, I'll leave everything down in the description box below so y'all can shop and get the fragrances that y'all want. But aside from these three, Aquatic Coconut. If you don't get any of the other ones, Aquatic Coconut. She's that girl, okay? And then I got another package in the mail. I have no clue who this is from. But I'm opening the seat. Anyways, y'all, today was the first day in a very long time. It's literally been raining every single day. There is a black cloud sitting right there. I thought the rain was gone because they're supposed to come tomorrow and do the day. But anyways, I need to get back to work. Jiggle we <laughs> Alright, it's the work day. It's over. The work day is complete. I don't know what the heck going on in my head, child, but it'll be alright. We finna get our hair braided to come Monday. Did I tell y'all I went on the book me a uh, um can y'all see me? I booked me a solo trip. Well, it's partly solo because my husband is gonna come rescue me. Hold on real quick. Are we better? Why does it seem zoomed? Anyways. So what was I saying? Yeah, I talked to Char and she was like, girl, take the trip. I'm just playing. But we just kind of talked about like solo trips and um, solo dates and things like that. And originally I was supposed to go with my sisters and my cousins. And then our schedules just didn't align. So I was like, I'm booking the trip. I'm going on the goddamn trip. Of course, after talking to her and stuff. And I decided to go by myself for a couple of days or like almost 48 hours, but not really. One full day and then like part day by myself. And then my husband's gonna come flying in and then we're gonna spend the rest of the time there together. So anyways, I bought this bag, not for this trip or anything, but I'm gonna use it. Um, when we went to Mexico earlier this year, y'all remember like in February, maybe don't. Um, I wanted this bag, but it wasn't on sale. And y'all know a couple of weeks ago, I showed y'all some Crocs that I bought. I bought them off of Essence because Essence was having a sale. And then I got back on Essence website, you know, just browsing around and I seen this color. This is a Marnie bag. It's so cute. I originally wanted black, but when I seen this color, I thought it'd be cute. Y'all know them little linen cargos I showed y'all the other day. Tell me this would not be cute with it. A lot of your mama tell her it won't be cute, but don't lie to me and tell me that this will not be a cute bag. This thing is as big as my head. Maybe my head is bigger. But anyways, it comes with a little, like, cute little crossbody action. But I think it's so cute. Let me step back. Let me step get back and give y'all a vision. <laughs> Darling. It's so cute. It is, she's a cute little number. So it's perfect timing that I purchased this. I actually bought this before I planned the trip. Well, that's a lie. I planned the trip. I purchased this. I don't know, girl. We going and I got it. <laughs> That's all that matter. One of y'all commented and asked me about the deck. If we were going to get, um, still have people come out and do it. So the answer to that is yes. I, y'all know I'm missing patient. I did not want, um, to wait any longer to put our stuff out here on the deck because according to the forecast, it was supposed to rain all the way to next Monday, through next Monday. So I was like, absolutely not.
Anyways, I was like, absolutely. <laughs> you know what? These, these folks at like. Look at the head. I'm she trying. washed her own hair and then had the nerve, the audacity to stick these in the top of her. Somebody, I'm finna, I'm more fired to help me. Give me the energy. Ew, it's Let me go outside. Girl, I had to come down. Stay outside for some peace. Anyways, I'm gonna be able to, y'all, if y'all see anything white on my face, what is it for? I've been rubbing on my face and I just, ugh. It's been a week. What the hell is that? Oh, they getting their pool put in. I want a pool so bad, Lord Jesus. Bless me. <laughs> okay, so let me focus. Anyways, now I done rub my eyes so much, my doggone eyes is watering. So anyways, I don't know if y'all noticed, and look at me. I want a cool. I want a cool. <laughs> y'all, I don't know if y'all noticed, but in the real, that is a beetle, not a roach. So I know, uh, I don't know if y'all noticed in the real, the deck, deck look a little bit ashy on this side. So my whole point in trying to get, I'm trying to get to, yes, the people are coming to redo our deck. They're actually supposed to come tomorrow, but we went ahead and put it, everything back out here because originally it wasn't supposed to start raining until, it was supposed to rain until next Tuesday. And I was like, I'm not waiting on that. Like I wanted to get content of it. I wanted to get my deck back together because I was tired of just being out here on these poofs. So then after we got the deck together, the rain came back. Um, so we'll have to move everything. We'll probably end up just moving the stuff into here instead of trying to go through the trouble of taking it back downstairs, but then what's name at the same time? I don't know if I want this stuff just sitting there. Oh, shoot! <laughs> that was a bumblebee. You know, the bumblebees just like swoop at the girl going air. What the? Guess what's coming next Saturday, July 1st? It's Can our I couch. Couch. Can I dance with you? Can I dance with you? Alexa, Yes, our couch is coming next Saturday. I'm so excited. It's unexpected, but I told y'all. Did I tell y'all in the last video? Maybe I deleted the footage, but I was pretty much like, I got a feeling like they charged my card. So I got a feeling the couch is coming sooner than later and gosh darn it, it's coming early. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, it's in the <laughs> It came and did the deck. This deck got about 15 coats on it at this point. It's all right. We have the ice cake right here. Here's some. And he fixed the, um, the fence too. I don't know if y'all can tell. Anyways, back to no patio furniture. We have to wait till Monday before we can put it back out here. But we'll be golden by then. We're gonna be real golden. Y'all see that? Uh huh. So we had to move our plants to the front of the house. And I said, I like. Get out my way. Everybody got on these what's the names? We deep con <laughs> deep conditioning. Look at it. That's just too high for back up so I can get out my door. What, can I come with you? Yeah, if you gonna come in silence, y'all too loud for my taste. All right, look at this, y'all. See me? That's what we need in the front to spruce it up a little bit. So I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna take to Amazon. I seen these planters. I'm gonna get to go right here. It's a set of three. I was gonna do gray, but I'm trying to figure out if I need to do black. It's just yours. You know what I'm saying? Good what? and dead. I'm about to pull that up. I'll probably go to Home Depot tomorrow to get some plants because it's a little too hot today. Yeah. Yeah. And she's sitting right there until we can get her, you know. Oh, Sheba. And then this is what my dining room is going to look like until Monday. So we just have everything sitting in here. And the egg chair is downstairs outside. But we've been sent good weather. Blessed to be the fruit. So they should not get damaged or anything. I've literally spent my entire morning. Um, washing hair, cleaning up, cleaning up. Ate breakfast. I'm not. Uh, they 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 here for the deep condition all day because I don't have time. And my mom and my sister are on the way, which I'm excited about. So spend some time with them. 
the tomorrow prayer and go to the pool. I wanted to go to, my plan was to get up this morning, go to um, Home Goods to see what patio stuff they had. Cause I, you know, I want to find like a little storage thing for the what's the name? Didn't happen, didn't happen at all. You got your stuff, Benny? <laughs> Good morning, y'all, happy Sunday. Suck my good in this, this go around. I got a couple packages in the mail. And then two things I wanna talk to you about and then we gonna close this out. So I got my Equilibria um, um, subscription in the mail. I wanted to try something different this time. I still got my Common Melts. I use these um, mainly whenever I'm on the plane um, in lieu of like my anxiety medication because I know I haven't been able to take that. I actually can start back now. I'm just trying to go the natural route. And then this is new for me. It's the Relief Balm. Um, it has organically grown full spectrum, hemp flower concentrate, coconut oil, shea butter, arnica, menthol, lavender, and rosemary. So I wanted to try this because like whenever I get like migraines and stuff, again, I haven't been taking any medication since I stopped breastfeeding. So like, um, ooh, mm, okay. I mean, obviously has that scent in it, but then all the other things I've called off, it has it in there too. But I wanted to see how this would work. Well, like massaging this like on my temples, if I have like any like, like tension and like my neck or whatever like um, rubbing it on there to see how it works. So I'll let y'all know how this works out, but it's like cute little packaging. Or what, Yvonne, can you guys say that? Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people have ordered from Equilibria before. I'm interested. Y'all can't even see that, can y'all? I'm interested to see, to hear like the stuff that people have purchased. I don't know if the purchases come from Instagram or if they come from YouTube. But anyways, um, the other thing I got is some stuff from Abercrombie. I don't know what this looks like, girl. At this point, I'm here. And then I'm about to make up my bed. After that, I need to go grocery shopping. I need to wash this stuff out these kids. There, you should have washed it out while you was in the shower. Okay, yeah, I see. Oh, y'all can't see my address. Um, y'all know I had got those cream pants I showed y'all in the last video. I love how they fit so much. I was like, because I normally get my jeans from American Eagle. American Eagle's jeans are lovely to me. I've always got my jeans from American Eagle. But I wanted to get a pair of linen pants from there. Girl, I got an extra smile in these because I was thinking, you know, absolutely not. I don't know who finna fit in these. I'm finna try these on real quick. Oh, y'all know those green linen cargo pants I was telling y'all my purse gonna go with? Girl, they are too small. I got them in a size two. They look like they was gonna be big and they're not even available online. So I gotta go back into the store. Oh, okay, these fit. They're extra small fit. So I'm gonna show y'all what these look like. Can y'all see? Can y'all see me? These are so cute. The only thing I don't like about like the pleated pants and stuff, I don't know if it's coming off on camera, but sometimes it gives you like that mom pouch thing. If y'all follow me on TikTok, Y'all know I was talking about a little pouch thing with the uh, Taylor pants that I got. But anyways, I got these in extra small short. And they're cute. They actually hit proper for my little bitty self. My thought with this is to get, um, or already have like a cute, anyways, cute fitted shirt to wear tucked in. And then just like some cute sandals. You know what I'm saying? I just want to be comfortable. I'm not really a huge fan of shorts because I just feel like I... They, they rise up, they fit tight, they hug at the crotch, and I, girl. So these are cute, these are real cute. Brunch vibe, shopping vibe, comfortable around the house vibe. I'm trying to get dressed some more while being in the house. I don't know if y'all notice, but sometimes when I do my reels and I make an appearance, I be looking like, I just wanna film the content and get it done. I don't ever put no clothes on, so I need to start looking, you know, presentable. Show up as the woman that you want to be. Anyways, let's look at the other pair. Okay, so we got these. Oh, these are comfortable. I'm about to order these in some more sizes. They can't see me, don't worry. So I got these. These are actually a baggy pair, so I should probably should have ordered these in a smaller size. So they're these, and they have like the cutout on the side, which I think is so cute. 
I really hope they fit. And I also bought this uh, black hat. It's like black on black. Because if you bought part of their like, uh, <laughs> this is this is not gonna make sense. But if you bought bought part of something from their workout collection, you got an extra twenty percent off your entire order. So I got the jeans for cheaper, but then mm -hmm. it's like I paid thirty dollars for the hat. Well, twenty twenty percent off, but the hat is cute, and I know I'll wear it. So whatever. So a size twenty six is a size two there. I bought a size two in the other pants, so I'm hoping these fit. Yeah, they do. What? Well, which one? Move your hands. I like this one because the the black in there. All right, let me show y'all these. So I got these and a twenty six short as well. I think they're cute. And y'all see like the little rips on the side. You can't really tell. I feel like these are actually supposed to be a little bit baggier than this, but they're so cute. Bean say hey. And I got these in a short too, so they hit like right at my ankles. But I think these are cute with like a little white top or a little crop top. And I like how they are not, it's not like too much back there. And this is so cute. Mm hmm. I'm like D for y'all. I think the Abercrombie's jeans are. I personally feel like they're expensive, but they're good quality, and I don't feel like you have to like replace them. And my American Eagle ones, I don't either. Those normally run like the lowest is like fifty, and then they range on up to like ninety dollars. Abercrombie's I feel like start at ninety dollars and range on up to like a hundred and ten or something like that. But I think these are cute. We just need to work on my stomach, baby. But for anybody who is if you want to go inside the store, I didn't see these inside the store. They're called the baggy um, mirrors. And then they, there's these are the curve club because y'all know I got curves. <laughs> Anyways, here you go the sticker for these. It's, it don't really say. These are just the linen pants on there. Anyway, so real quick, y'all know we've been having somebody come to clean um, the house or whatever, and I haven't provided y'all with an update. So y'all know I have a bad habit of hiring and firing don't have a problem with it but I've been trying to what the heck is that in our yard I've been trying to I need to work on not getting distracted I'm trying to talk to y'all so this won't be long drawn out anyways long story short they do well with the stuff that they actually clean but they're not cleaning our tubs they're not cleaning the tubs at all and I think because the tubs don't look dirty they assume that they're not and they don't have really good lighting where the tubs are so I think I just feel like okay we can switch around some water and then be, and call it and absolutely not so here's what i'm gonna do I, my plan is today y'all see it in the next video we're gonna go to target and i'm going to get um probably like the clear bins so that i can obviously use those in my linen closet label them whatever and fill them with the products that i want them to use one for each bathroom and then I feel like that'll also be good so that each bathroom has its own cleaning supplies and in between the cleans, the kids can, you know, do a little something, something. I can do a little something, something. But Magic Erasers, I like using on those because I feel like they cut through like any dirt or buildup, if any. Uh, I'll probably just do like a small thing of Fabuloso for each one because I just like the way the Fabuloso smells. And then also, um, like for the shower, they can clean whatever they, with whatever they want to, but they're going to have to have a bleach component. And I know some people don't like to clean with bleach, but you have to clean my stuff with bleach. Not only that, I want them to start using my mop because when you think about it, it's been one time that they came and cleaned our house. Sorry if I had white stuff. They came and cleaned our house after they came and cleaned another house. And I was just thinking like, how do I know they're not using the same washcloths? the mop that you know what i'm saying like i just don't want any cross contamination and not only that like i feel like as long as somebody knows how to clean like standard cleaning you can teach them how to clean according to your own standards so i feel like I'm, i just need to communicate that she doesn't speak english like her it's just very little she always has somebody with her that does but it's nothing for me to get on the google translator app and type in whatever i need I can understand a little bit of Spanish. I can speak a little bit of Spanish just because we learned from kindergarten through 12th grade how to speak. But anyways, I just want to, um, you know, when they get here, I'll show them like, here's the cleaning products. Here's the areas that I need you to pay a little bit more attention to. 
and she's very nice and i feel like as long as i come to her like in a respectable manner like it's fine and not to mention like they have what their rate is and i tip on top of that i'm not tipping this next time because we you you have to compensate me for the tips i gave you the last couple of times like this last time y'all it was so much they didn't clean like none of the tubs were clean like none of the tubs were clean none the last time before that one of the tubs wasn't clean um and i could tell because the same marks i seen in there are the same ones that were there when they when they left and they were there again this time um addition to in addition to that uh bean had got a little bit of oatmeal in the hallway in the foyer area um i didn't bother mopping it because i was like okay they'll be here tomorrow so i just got the oatmeal up there's still like a little you know like crust or whatever it was still there when they left so i realized i recognize that this is a lot of house to clean but you obviously quoted us according to that and we're paying you for that so i need you to clean our house in its entirety so that's what we are with that i'm not firing anybody she's really sweet like i love this lady she actually cleaned somebody else's house in the neighborhood but baby you gonna have to clean you gonna have to earn your key okay like you can't just expect me to be paying you and have sympathy for you because you have to clean this entire house it's normally like three of them that come but it's like if you're not gonna clean just say that and don't take the job so i feel like this is going to be my approach supplying the cleaning products having the conversation and then hopefully that kind of fixes the problem and i feel like it will but if it doesn't anyways i'm about to clean this um what's the name real quick and i'm gonna go downstairs and talk to y'all about the the dining room plans then we're gonna close out the wall we're gonna start a new one okay okay y'all i have to multitask because it's sunday and uh my mind is late racing because i feel like i have so much to do in so little time so kids hair the laundry is out the ass right now everybody everybody clothes are dirty so i'm trying my best to get through my clothes and then i can work my way to my kids i can really start on their clothes like tomorrow but who want to be done doing laundry during the week anyways so my whole point coming to y'all is because, oh and then i'm getting my hair done tomorrow and i just found out that i actually have to be the one to bring the hair and i should have asked before the last time i got my hair done granted it was like two or three years ago actually three years ago she provided the hair so anyways now I gotta find a beauty supply store on a Sunday to sell this specific hair. Anyways, I just wanted to talk to y'all about the living room plan. So I'm gonna insert my um, mood board right here. So y'all know I was telling y'all I was gonna do a mood board for the dining room. I was gonna do three different iterations. One that was gray, one that was black, and one that was cream. When I say those colors, that was really gonna be like the focal color in there. So I first started out with the gray version of it. I was getting excited about it. Even looked up, you know, and found the... Um, the little light fixture granted i would never pay this 800 dollars for this particular light fixture but this is just the rough draft this is not what it's going to look like that's not the rug i just wanted to find like rug with gray in it or a great anyways girl i showed that to my husband he was like oh so we're doing fuzzy chairs again i said i'm sorry is there a problem he don't like he don't want fuzzy chairs again so the boucle it means fuzzy to him so, um, having said that, we're basically at ground zero because y'all know these are the chairs that I actually wanted. Hopefully, I have time to actually insert these things that I'm referencing. But y'all know I wanted to do it's like either a cream or a white bouquet chair with the, the black hardware. Um, and he apparently don't want no more fuzzy chairs. So, now I'm looking for chairs that have a different texture that um, have black hardware in them because I do want some level of black in there i just was trying to branch away from typical cream slash white and black and i was going to do a little bit of gray because y'all know the couch is like gray with a taupe undertone we'll really see what it look like when i get here anyways i'm telling y'all all that to tell you i did not spray paint the light fixture in the dining room because i just want to be certain that we know what we want in that dining room before i make any type of changes because i just don't want to find myself here again next year I'm just trying to be honest with myself okay so that's all i wanted to come tell y'all i need to close this vlog out right here because i need to focus on life and then we can pick up another vlog okay so i'll see y'all on wednesday